Hello everybody, this is Ibrahim Al Amiri. Today we are going to discuss the difference between engineering and true stress strain care. And we are going to discuss how can we calculate the true stress strain curve from the data of engineering stress strain curve. And we are going to have an example uh, on Excel and then uh, we are going to discuss how can we calculate the input data for Abaco software. First of all, we are going to uh, give a brief information about engineering and true stress strain curve. We know that the stress strain curve is the simplest way to describe the mechanical properties of materials and the stress strain curve can provide information about the material strength, toughness, stiffness, ductility and more. Uh, direct inside strength and compressive strength is the basic test for materials to find their engineering stress strain curve. As you can see here, A0 is the cross-sectional area of the symbol and L0 is the length of the symbol. And after, during the test, this is the simultaneous area and this is the length of the symbol. In the engineering stress strain curve, we assume that during the test the area is constant and equal to the initial area, which is uh, A0, and the stress is calculated as the force per cross sectional area that a material withstands. And strain is the present change in the length of the material. So, if we want to calculate the true stress strain curve, we should consider the change in area for the symbol during the test. So, true stress is determined by dividing the tensile load by the instantaneous area. And the true strain is the natural logarithm of the ratio of the instantaneous gauge length to the original gauge length. Now we are going to discuss this in numerical method. As you can see here, the engineering stress of any material is calculated by dividing the force by the initial area of the symbol. And the engineering strain is uh, calculated by finding the delta L, which is the difference between the final and the initial length of the symbol and divided by the initial length of the symbol. As we said before, the true stress is the force divided by the instantaneous area. So, according to the uh, unchangeable volume of the symbol during the test, we can say that the initial area multiplied by initial length is equal to the instantaneous area multiplied by the instantaneous length. We can write the true strength equation in another form. We can say that F divided by A0 and the change in area can be calculated as uh, A0 divided by the AI. As we said here in this equation, we can find that AI divided by A0 can equal to L0 divided by Li. So we are going to replace the A0 divided by Ai with Li divided by L0. The engineering strain is equal to the difference in length divided by the original length and delta L is the final length minus initial length divided by the initial length so we can say that li divided by l0 minus 1 if we transfer uh, one to the another sign we can say that li divided by l0 is equal to the engineering strain plus 1 so by replacing this value on the above equation we can get the true stress as you can see here in the engineering strain the length is change during the test. So in the first step, the initial length is L1 and after applying a specific load or a specific displacement, a delta L is occur. So in the second step, 
we have uh, an increase in the delta L and taking into account the total length from the first step is equal to the initial length the second step so we can say that delta epsilon 1 for the first step is equal to delta L1 divided by L1 and the same thing is can be calculated for the second and the third step. As a conclusion, you can see here the total strain is equal to the summation of delta Li divided by Li. We can say the total strain is equal to the integration from L0 to L for the dL divided by L. If you remember in calculus, the integration of 1 divided by x for dx is equal to ln x plus constant. For the above equation, the total strain is equal to ln L divided by L0. And we said before that L divided by L0 is equal to engineering strain plus 1. So we are going to replace this value in here and we get that the true strain is equal to ln engineering strain plus one. This is the engineering stress strain curve and the red one is the true stress strain curve. In the elastic zone, we can observe that the engineering and true stress strain curve is almost the same. This is the reason why we use engineering stress strain curve in design because we are designing buildings and structures in this area. The true stress strain curve is continued to increase because material only gets stronger and the engineering is decreased because the symbol gets weaker. In conclusion, the true stress strain curve produced during the tensile test is equal to ln 1 plus engineering strain and in compression the true strain is equal to minus ln 1 minus the engineering strain and the correlation between the engineering and true stress strain is calculated by engineering stress multiplied by 1 plus minus the engineering strain here the negative sign corresponding to compression and the positive sign corresponding to tension in tensile test the true stress strain curve is above the engineering stress strain curve, while uh, in compression test, the true strain curve is below the engineering stress strain curve. Now we are going to solve an example. This is the engineering stress strain curve from compression test. We are going to calculate the true stress strain curve and use this data in Abacus software. As we said before, to calculate true strain, we are going to use minus len 1 minus the engineering strain. Press enter and we can come here and double click to calculate all the other values. To calculate the true stress equal to the true stress multiplied by 1 minus the true strain press enter and then come here and double click to calculate the other values so now we are going to blot these two graphs we are going to select them and go to insert and choose here this is the uh, engineering stress strain curve and we are going to add another curve so this is the true this is the true and this is our x data and this is our y data and okay we are going to modify the name of this curve it will be 
engineering okay okay we are going to change the type of graphs in compression test the the true stress strain curve is below the engineering stress strain curve now dear friends after calculating the stress strain curve in excel we want to use this data in Apache software so now we are going to learn how to use this data in Abacus. To do this, we are going to calibration and right click, create, write calibration name. This is will be, you can write the material name, for example, uh, polymer and press OK. Now, open it. Here, data sets you are going to double click on data sets and write poly mat for example or uh, poly true stress strain curve true stress strain curve and go to excel and copy this data the calculated uh, stress strain curve and paste them here then press ok this is the calculated uh, true stress strain curve for the material we are going to behavior and right click on behavior and select create the type of material is going to be elastic isotropic or elastic plastic or hyper elasticity now in this case we have elastic plastic behavior we are going to select elastic plastic isotropic then continue select data now as you can see here this is our data and you can uh, enter your ultimate point the maximum value or you can uh, calculate it using this button as you can see here this is the ultimate point and the yield point we are going to pick the yield point from the graphs we are going to choose here for example now we can see here there is a difference so we are going to change it to here until our modified curve became over the data I think this is um, a suitable point as you can see here program by default just choose three points in the plastic zone so we are going to increase the number of plastic zones here if you want to add more extra points you can click here and add points in the in any place you want uh, sorry If you want to add any points, you can click here in any points that you want and add as point as much you want. Here, we are going to input our poisons ratio, for example, 0 0.3. And to save this, we need to create a material. So we are going to click there and use this is our poly mat and just click ok and choose here polymath and click apply calibration parameters have successfully mapped to polymer math and click dismiss if you now go to material you are going to find our materials that we are input so we can click edit and check this is our young modulus that calculated by abacus and this is our poison ratio and we can check our plastic behavior this is the yield stress and plastic strain thanks for watching